Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of Manuka honey for your skin, for treating different skin issues and skin concerns like redness, rosacea, and acne, and for having an anti-aging benefit. Honey has been used in skincare for centuries and centuries. And in medicine, we use honey to treat wounds. It's an approved treatment for wounds. It has healing properties. So you may be wondering what's up with Manuka honey. Manuka honey is a special type of honey that comes from honeybees that feed off of the Manuka tree, which can be found in New Zealand and Australia. And the reason it's so unique is that it has specific compounds in it unique to unique to that honey that other honey types don't have. All honey has an antibacterial uh, compound in it called peroxide. That's how it helps uh, with healing and, and, and in reducing infection. But Manuka honey is unique in that the Manuka flower has uh, dihydroxyacetone and that gets converted to a compound called methyl glyoxal. And methyl glyoxal is antibacterial in addition to the hydrogen peroxide. So Manuka honey has both hydrogen peroxide as well as this methyl glyoxal, which is what is thought to be the reason for its unique anti antibacterial and healing properties, that methyl glyoxal component. The higher the methyl glyoxal content in the honey, the more antibacterial it's going to be. And this is really important, so much so that Manuka honey products should have a UMF labeling on them. That stands for Unique Manuka Factor. And that denotes a company that has, uh, has to meet certain standards. And it basically ensures that the consumer is getting authentic Manuka honey and getting that methyl glyoxal component in it, um, as opposed to just ordinary honey, which you're only going to have the peroxide, the hydrogen peroxide antibacterial com compound in, in regular honey. Um, so you wanna look for that. I believe Trader Joe's was faced with a lawsuit because they claimed that one of their products had Manuka honey in it, 100% Manuka honey, and in fact it did not. So definitely look for the UMF rating on products for that level of transparency. So those are a few little tidbits about Manuka honey, but overall it's great for skincare. It has a low pH, so it's really good for your skin barrier. It's not going to strip away your natural oils. Honey is rich in humectants that help hold water into the skin. <clears throat> it has these antibacterial compounds that can help control the overburden of cutibacterium acnes, that little bacteria that contributes to acne, as well as other commensal skin microbes like malassezia and demodex. And Manuka honey promotes healing. It's used in wound healing and it has a, first of all, it, it serves as a barrier, so it keeps the wound clean. And its antibacterial properties reduce skin infection on the healing wound. And it also uh, recruits fibroblasts, which are the skin cells that need to kind of come in to, to take over to help heal abraded skin or wounded skin. Manuka honey is also rich in antioxidants, so it can help lower the burden of reactive oxygen species in the skin that contribute to inflammation and aging, wrinkles and fine lines. Because of the antioxidants, Manuka honey, you, you may think of as an anti-aging compound as well. Combined with the fact that it has skin hydrating properties, you might expect to see a smoothing out of fine lines and wrinkles when using Manuka honey. Because it's rich in antioxidants, that can also help with issues related to hyperpigmentation. So in addition to a skin smoothing effect, you may notice an improved overall brightness of your skin tone and improvement in areas of discoloration. But to be clear, Manuka honey has not been substantiated as a treatment for issues of hyperpigmentation, but logic follows that because it's moisturizing, it's anti-inflammatory, and it helps scavenge free radicals, uh, it's, it's likely going to have some degree of benefit, and at any rate, it's not harmful. But we do have clinical trials showing that Manuka honey is in fact beneficial for other skin conditions, namely rosacea, eczema, acne, and of course, wound healing, which is where it's used the most. What are the downsides of using Manuka honey? It's a little sticky, but after you apply it to the skin, it absorbs actually fairly quickly and that stickiness goes away. You can put it on your face uh, just as is, 
You can use it as a mask if you wanted to. You can use it as a face wash if you wanted to. Just take a little bit with some water, massage it into the skin, and then rinse it off. So it's pretty easy to use once you kind of get over that stickiness aspect. It's relatively harmless. However, if you are allergic to bees, you will want to avoid this. There is a small chance that there could be cross reaction in the allergen profile and you could have an adverse effect. So you wanna avoid it if you are allergic to bees and it should not be used in young babies under the age of one because honey um, can have some um, botulism at very, 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 very low levels and babies are not equipped to handle that. That's why you always see that you shouldn't give honey to, to a young baby. But otherwise, it's safe, it's relatively innocuous, and it's pretty affordable, and it's definitely evidence-based and medical grade. Uh, honey is, you, I mean, if you go into the hospital, um, you are likely to encounter a honey-based product for wound healing. There are medical grade honey dressings, that you can get um, and that are used in clinically and in the hospital to treat uh, healing wounds, to heat uh, ulcers, uh, you know, pressure ulcers. So it's not a it's not a fly by night fluffy ingredient, but um, it does it does help a lot of skin issues and importantly, it can in, in principle reduce our reliance on. Oh dear, I'm getting. We're gonna get some rain here. It could, in, in, in theory, reduce the reliance on topical antibiotics, which is really important, not only for individuals using these ingredients to treat different skin conditions, but to the environment overall. A push to getting away from using topical antibiotics is always, is always encouraged. Any way that we can skirt around having to use topical antibiotics, I think is a win, not only for patients, but for our environment. It's less about antibiotic going out into into the environment um, a product that I would recommend to you guys is called uh, first honey it is UMF 12 which is a very good concentration of the MG and is a very good quality it's a sterilized uh, they, they make an ointment they also make a cream that's more of like a moisturizer that you could use and they make <clears throat> and they make uh, bandages uh, have that have the Manuka honey in them. So if you had a cut, uh, you might want to use that instead of just a regular Band-Aid to, to give it a try. <laughs> Potentially it can improve acne, rosacea, wrinkles and fine lines, and also help with healing. So I definitely think it's a good ingredient and it's one of the kind of natural ingredients, DIY skincare type things that I am in favor of. I think it is a logic, logical thing to, to give a try. Low risk, potentially high reward. So I hope this video on Manuka Honey was helpful to you guys and comment below on if you use it in your skincare routine in any manner. I would love to hear your experience with it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.